I've always been kind of interested in programming, um, specifically making video games. What we're kind of trying to prepare students for in this program is if they're they're you know really set on you know I want want to you know be a programmer I want to want to work on on games. If you are still working on the filter assignment. Um, uh, it's kind of all of the sort of behind the scenes stuff about like you know what does it take to actually create a, a video game. I like how hands on it is. It feels like it's giving me actual experience in the field and just it, it feels like it's actually challenging me and. Uh, helping me learn this task. The best part is you you actually get to do you like you're hopping straight into game development. You're you're using the programs that you're actually going to use in a professional setting. We do have access to software like uh, Unity. We have access to a website called CS50 ID where we work on C programs. We use Visual Studio 2019 uh, to program the. Uh, other parts of the games. We really start from kind of the, the, the foundation, right, the fundamentals of, of programming. Um, in terms of video game programming, I knew very, very little. I had like a little bit of programming experience in like another language, but besides that, I mean, it was just pretty little. As where I am now, I would say I have a feel for what I'm doing and I can understand what's going on. I can look at a game and understand like what's going on, how they did that. It's definitely very fun. If you are sure you want to go into this field, then it's definitely very educational and it's definitely like, even like I have plenty of projects in my portfolio already that um, I could use to apply to maybe like smaller jobs or other colleges. One of the opportunities that they're, they're afforded here that they might not necessarily be afforded elsewhere is the opportunity to um, collaborate with members of other disciplines in, in for game. You know, from different yeah, heights. Know, in a, a typical computer science class, you might you know, do a group project with someone, you know, also in that class, you know, work doing programming, but you don't typically see a whole lot of sort of, you know, cross-pollination of, we have people in the art class who are also, also working with, you know, people in, in programming class and also music students, you know, all kind of working together to create a, an end product that uses, utilizes all those disciplines, you know, together. I really like the collaboration with the other students. Everybody I've met has been super friendly and then everybody brings good ideas to the table. Uh, definitely things that I would have never thought before. For that project I actually got to do a little bit of the animation um, programming stuff and it was really fun uh, and all the group mates and I we had a lot a lot of fun on it and our product is really good I think. That's what game development is all about right is, is, is taking all these disparate disciplines people that specialize in these different things that you know maybe on their own couldn't necessarily make you know this this game uh, or if they, if they could, it would just take longer. Certain aspects wouldn't quite be as good, but then instead to sort of use, utilizing all those specializations together in the same environment to, to create something. There's a lot of concepts that going into college I wouldn't have known had I not taken WANIC. If this is definitely a field you want to go into, the WANIC track is great for building those skills and getting that professional experience. Just the stuff that they're learning um, you know, in this class is stuff that I, I didn't learn until like years later, so it's just awesome to see them grappling with these concepts and then actually getting it, you know, and, and thinking about like, oh man, it's going to be awesome to see what they're able to do, you know, in the future.